In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to do a common task, which is to add a CSV file into QGIS. Now, the simplest way to do this is we can simply drag and drop the CSV file from our browser window. But there's a few problems with this. The first is that, as you can see, nothing has happened in my map. And my CSV file here does have coordinates. Um, but by simply dragging and dropping, those coordinates aren't picked up to create points. And actually, there's also a second problem here, um, which is only visible if we go into the properties and source fields. And that is, even if our CSV file doesn't have coordinates and we just want to use it to join to another existing layer, if we simply drag and drop the CSV file, it picks up all of our fields as field type string. Um, which is fine if we only have text fields, but if any of these are numeric values, this is going to cause us problems if we try to do anything with them later on. So clearly dragging and dropping isn't the best way um, to add in our CSV file. So I'm just going to remove that here. So what we need to do instead is go up here to the top left and click on our Open Data Source Manager. And within here, we have the delimited text option. So this is the tool that allows us to add CSV files in properly to our map. So I'm just going to click at the top there to browse, find my CSV file um, of countries. So we can actually add in various types of delimited file. CSV is probably going to be the most common. Um, and there's also various settings that we can, can choose from. So we can discard header lines. We can set it to say that the first record has field names. If we've got field names on the top line, discard empty fields, various types of things um, like that. Also, if the decimal separator is a comma, that's quite an important one, so we don't end up with extra breaks. And then we come down to the geometry options. So in my file, I've got longitude and latitude coordinates. So I'm going to choose the point coordinates option, set my X field to longitude, Y field to latitude. Um, we can also use well-known text, which is basically a particular way of writing coordinates um, that allows us to have line and polygon data as well as just points. Um, or we can choose to have no geometry if we don't have any coordinates, but perhaps we're going to join our CSV file to another data set we have which does have coordinates. And as I said, even if that's the case, then we need to come in to the, the delimited text option here to add it. Um, and one of the reasons, or well, the key reason here, is it has this detect field types option. So by adding our CSV file in this way, it will detect whether we've got a text field, a decimal field, an integer field, um, and so on and so forth. So now I've got point coordinates, longitude, latitude. We've got the preview down here. Everything looks fine. I can click on add. And voila, it has now added my CSV file and created points. Um, using the, the coordinates within that CSV file. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that this hasn't altered the CSV file in any way. So if I was to remove it and add it back into my map, I'd need to go through that process again in order to ensure it adds in properly and creates geometry from the coordinates in the CSV file. So the best thing to do at this point is to right click on our CSV file in the layers window here and go to export, save features as. And this allows us to export it as some kind of GIS file, a shape file, for example, or QGIS geo package, um, which will contain the spatial data. I mean, if we add that layer back into our map again, it's automatically going to add in as a point layer with the points appearing in the correct place with coordinate system defined. So I'm going to open that up call this countries, click save, it's going to add that into my map, and voila, I now have a shape file um, which contains those coordinates and contains all the attribute information of my original CSV file. So there you go, that's how to add a CSV file into QGIS.